PM Modi to attend closure of the Parivartana rally in Bangalore on on Sunday. Uh, the 27 top leaders of the BJP will be on stage along with Prime Minister Modi. The state in charge, Union Minister Piyush Goyal and Prakash Javrekar will be at the event. PM is expected to speak around 3 p.m. on Sunday. The BJP has planned to make this a mega event. Huge posters, billboards in the city have been put up by the BJP to attract huge crowd for today's event. The BJP expects over 4 lakh people to attend PM's event. The party has uh, hired around 1,000 state buses to ferry its workers from different districts. The BJP also allowed audience registration through the website and about 11,000 techies from the state have registered. That's what it is reported. Meanwhile, the Karnataka Congress has hit out at BJP Chief Amit Shah and Prime Minister Modi in a tweet uh, that the Karnataka Congress called the BJP boss the Shah of Liars. Meanwhile, the Bangalore Bund, planned by Canada Outfits on Sunday to coincide with the PM's visit in the city for a mega public meeting has been called off after Karnataka High Court ordered a stay terming <coughs> No, more than 11,000 um, uh, software engineers have registered uh, to attend the uh, Modi rally. We have more than 500 active uh, social media influencers also. They have all worked to make the Narendra Modi program a big success and their presence will be in large numbers. Narendra Modi is giving a corruption-free government, pro-development government which and all-inclusive government which is what has attracted all the uh, software and educated class and they, are, uh, they adore Narendra Modi ji and they want to listen to him and they are coming. The politics in the poll-bound Karnataka continues to be on the boil. The Karnataka Bharatiya Janta Yuva Morcha have started a unique campaign in the poll-bound state called the Screwdriver Campaign, where they plan to courier thousands of screwdrivers to Karnataka Home Minister Ramalinga Reddy. The Bharatiya Janta Party claimed that the Home Minister Reddy had trivialized the death of a BJP worker who was stabbed by a screwdriver and was killed. The political battle between BJP and Congress in poll-bound Karnataka has intensified now over the murder of BJP worker Santosh. The BJP Yuva Morcha has kick-started a screwdriver campaign in protest against the Siddharamaya government. BJP workers from across the state will send screwdrivers to Karnataka Home Minister Ramalinga Reddy as a mark of protest against his comment on Santosh's murder. BJP alleges that Karnataka Home Minister Ramalinga Reddy has trivialized the death of a BJP worker. BJP claims Reddy said that there was no intention to kill Santosh. He was stabbed with a screwdriver in the leg and he died due to excessive bleeding. See, this screwdriver can widow somebody, can take the life of somebody. It is, it can be a very powerful weapon in the hands of rogue elements. Siddhiramaya government is taking BJP, which is a democratic party, which is a main opposition party, as enemy number one. Chief Minister Siddhiramaya, on the other hand, tweeted that BJP claims everyone who is assaulted as their workers. The BJP has alleged that the series of political killings of their party workers is nothing less than state-sponsored terror by Congress government. Santosh was stabbed with a screwdriver at a bakery in JC Nagar on Wednesday night. He succumbed to his injuries while undergoing treatment in hospital. Four people have been arrested in the case while police claims that Santosh was murdered due to personal enmity. On the other hand, in the run-up to assembly elections in Karnataka this year, Politics has intensified and real issues are being ignored. For Neta's priority are divisive issues like Tipu Sultan Rao, cow protection yagyas and political killing. For how long will Neta's ignore the real issue? With Nagarjun Dwarkanath in Bengaluru, Bureau Report, India Today. It's a big success for the security forces in the valley. A big LET terror module in the valley was busted in JNK's Baramula. 
to lashkar e taiba militants from jammu and kashmir who received terrorist training in pakistan have been arrested at the vaga atari border the militants identified as abdul majid bhat and mohammad ashraf mir and are the residents of the baramulla district they had returned to india via the vaga atari border crossing in punjab with valid passports and visas police said on friday both Ab abdul majid uh, bhat and mohammad ashraf received their arms training in pakistan for which they had uh, obtained valid visas from the pakistan high commission in delhi during questioning the two youth uh, told the police that they were located at a camp in islamabad a large number of other inmates at the camp were pakistani teens most of them from the rest of balochistan province some of the boys uh, roped in for training were as young as 10 years old the terrorists of lashkar e taiba were nabbed immediately after returning uh, via the vaga atari border before they could formally join the terror ranks in the state of kashmir pdp mla mohammad ashraf mir has said that he is a kashmiri first then an indian he made these controversial comments okay, while there was an uproar in the jnk okay, assembly on the beating of kashmiri students in haryana while replying to the national conference mia altaf kalu he said and i quote you two are kashmiris i am kashmiri first then an indian this comes on the same day when the jammu and kashmir government has approved withdrawal of cases registered against 9730 people involved in stone pelting incidents including the first time offenders between 2008 and 2017 Mufti said her government is uh, has also recommended to give amnesty to more than 4000 people who are said to be involved in minor incidents of stone pelting over the last 2 years at the same time the PDP BJP government remains split over the FIR against major aditya even as the army claims he wasn't present at the spot we are watching ki ye jo ek baar kisi ne patthar mara hai उनके खिलाफ एक एफ दर्ज है हम देखेंगे कि इसका रिस्पांस इनका रिएक्शन और इसकी क्या डेवलपमेंट रहती है तो उसके बाद वी कैन टेक अदर केसेस आल्सो सब्जेक्ट टू द कंडीशन कि पहले हम देखें कि इसका रिस्पांस क्या होता है एम यू पी एच डी स्कॉलर टर्न टेररिस्ट मनन वानी हु वॉज मिसिंग फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी हैज बीन ट्रेस द स्कॉलर टर्न टेररिस्ट इज बिलीव टू बी ट्रैप्ड इन नॉर्थ कश्मीर कुपवारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट After receiving a tip off about his presence the security forces cordoned off the entire area on Jan 8 last month Aligarh police raided Manan Wani's hostel rooms on the AMU premises and the jihadist literature was seized based on the reports that he may have been taken up arms and joined the Hizbul Mujahideen Aligarh Muslim University expelled Wani a research scholar from the prestigious AMU Wani has been missing since January 3 Manan Wani's photo showing him holding AK47 went viral on social media a day after he was reported missing. The 25-year-old geology scholar was supposed to return home around January 3 but failed to turn up. After Manan did not turn up and did not reach home, the photo started circulating. His family contacted the police and filed a missing complaint. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath is cracking the whip on law and order in the state. At least 15 encounters have been reported in different districts of Uttar Pradesh in the last two days. A gangster was killed and nearly two dozen criminals were arrested by the police. The encounters were reported from sensitive areas like Buland Shahar, Shamli, Kanpur, Saharanpur, Lucknow, Bagpat, Muzaffarnagar, and Gorakhpur. Hapur and the Meerut. are the two other cities which are also reported sending a strong message to the criminals in the state the up police crack down on criminals in at least 10 districts of the state huge recovery of arms and ammunition have been made during these operations as per sources up government has assured free hand to state police force to maintain peace at any cost in the state beside these numbers of encounters in the last 48 hours up police faces more than 900 50 encounters in the last 9 months of the UP government ye uttar pradesh se bhage aur uttar pradesh aparad mukt rahe police ko ye adhikar diye gaye hain ki police kisi bhi prakar se aparad ko panapne na de aur nagrikon ki raksha kare ye uska adhikar hai uska dayitv hai Welcome back. Some big claims by the Union Minister Jan Sinha on the air travel in India. Speaking at an event in Indore, Minister of State for Civil Aviation Jan Sinha claimed that air travel in the country 
is now cheaper than travel by auto rickshaws on a per kilometer basis. The minister also added that more people were opting for air travel because the country had the cheapest fares in the world. Sina said that the number of people traveling by uh, air was likely to reach 20 crore by the end of 2019. Quoting Finance Minister Arun Jaitley, he said that a man wearing slippers is now also flying, taking air travel. That's what he meant with air travel, witnessing massive growth in India. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley in the 2018 budget speech had a bunch of spot, uh, sops for the travel sector. Under the Udan, uh, Ure Deshka Aam Nagrit scheme, the government has announced that it will expand the capacity of 124 airports under the Airports Authority of India by five times to cater 1 billion trips a year. The Udan scheme has received a big allocation, 1,000 crore, for the fiscal year 2018-19 for, uh, from rupees 200 crore in the last fiscal year. At least 29 women have been arrested for staging anti-hijab protests in the Iran's capital, Tehran. A unique protest. Women across the country have been climbing onto the telecom boxes, taking off their headscarves and waving them on sticks. Several women activists have called hijab a symbol of oppression and rejected wider influence of religion in their lives. Meanwhile, Tehran police in a statement accused illegal foreign channels for instigating protests. Remember, the mandatory hijab rule has been in place post the Iranian revolution in 1979. Well, with that, it's a wrap on this edition of India Today. But for all the news and latest updates, you can log on to our website, indiatoday.in. You can also download the India Today app on your smartphone and stay updated with all the news and developments. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel, we know you would love to.